Hey there crafty friends, it's Tina from the Scrap and Rabbit blog and I have a project share for you today. It is my day to post over on the Jaded Blossom blog and so I created a couple cards to share. The stamp that I used is the new Heart Doily stamp. Let me share that with you. And it looks like this. And what I did was I took some Bristol watercolor paper, so Bristol Smooth, and I stamped it with some Versamark ink. I sprinkled it with some white embossing powder and I heat embossed it. And I think that it gives it a gorgeous look. And then what I did was I used my Zig Clean Clear uh, brushes and I used three colors for this background. The first one here is just pink. The second one is called light pink. And the third color is pale pink. I'm not sure if you've ever used these, but they work wonderfully with a water brush. And the colors are very vibrant and they go on beautifully. And that's what I used to make these backgrounds. So once I had my backgrounds done, I used uh, the full background for this card here. And for this one here, I cut it out with the uh, Jaded Blossom Scalloped Circle Dies. Let me see, I have them right here. So I cut this one out to give it that really cool scallop look. And I love the little slits here in this scallop die. It's very unique. And I did cut out the uh, Bristol Smooth using the card mat dies, which is why you see the stitching for that rectangle. And that is this die set right here. And that's how I got this layer. I just cut out a black layer to give it a little bit of an offset so that it popped it up just a little bit. And for this one here, I used the sentiment from uh, this set right here. It's called Heart Reef. And you get these really cute sentiments. And I used the Happy Valentine's Day. I stamped and embossed that. And then finally for this one, I just randomly added some clear iridescent sequins to give it a little bit of something. And so I think that one turned out really pretty. I kept it on the simple side, so there's not a lot of layering here. So that is the first card that I made. For the second one here, I decided I wanted to add an image, and so how cute is that little elephant? And I had forgotten about this cute set, and it's called Elephantastic, and you get two different sizes, so I used the little mini elephant there. And I stamped and embossed and colored this little cutie using my Copic markers. I think she turned out so cute. I just punched out this little heart. I have this little punch that I got for like a dollar. I think at Michael's or Joann's, I'm not sure, but that's a little heart, and I just punched that using some really pretty pink foil cardstock and I added that to the center of the heart and then the sentiment I love this sentiment so this is a new to me set if I can find it here it is called dream in color and I love these sentiments and this one says I heart you so this is, like I said, I just got this one recently. It's the first time I've used it. And I thought that that sentiment worked perfectly and it fits wonderfully on this banner that is from the Mini Tag Dice 2. And so that is it. So those are the two cards. I did emboss this layer right here. And um, I can't remember what... I think it was a cuddle bug folder that I used. And it's a little teeny tiny mini hearts on there. And I thought that that just added a little bit of texture to give it some more interest. So these are the two Valentine's Day cards that I created for my blog post over at Jaded Blossom. I will have a uh, process video using these markers coming up because I did get a 
uh, request to show how I do backgrounds and I'm certainly no expert but I think my backgrounds are coming along pretty nicely I I just love the way that they look they're so fun and really you guys there's no wrong way to do it you just well I'll show you in an upcoming video how I put these together and you can use distress inks as well sometimes I like to use these because you have a lot of control over the color and they're so vibrant but that is it. That is my project share for you guys today. So thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Uh, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. I can't wait to hear from you. I hope you like my cards. And until next time, everybody, happy crafting. Bye-bye.